And those are for Mr. Esposito. Patrick Coughlin practiced medicine in the Northeast for 30 years before moving to Cochise County in 2008. Now he splits his time between a small community hospital in Bisbee and one of its rural health clinics 16 miles away. I always tell people the big difference is I see more horse-related injuries than I did in the Northeast. He's doing his best in a system destined to collapse. Arizona's rural hospitals anticipate multi-million dollar debts because of state Medicaid cuts, some more than 20 to 30 percent of their budgets. That would be like every dollar you spend you have to borrow 20 or 30 cents. Well, that can't go on for a long time because you'll just go right under. It's not just in this corner of Arizona that a combination of state and federal cuts have rural hospitals on life support. Copper Queen Hospital cuts services, unable to keep offering care patients need but can't pay for. Foot care for diabetics, which used to be an access benefit, and now it's not. You know, I examine feet and there's certain things I can do for them, but it's, I don't think, the same as being able to see a podiatrist on a routine basis. Rural hospitals worry fewer services now will mean more problems later. One of the main concerns in rural health care is that the patients doctors have worked so hard to keep healthy won't have access to preventative care anymore. In that case, what could have been stopped by a simple visit to the doctor's office will lead to a costly emergency room visit instead. It's a pain the doctors feel too. If they weren't, weren't so dedicated and passionate, they probably wouldn't be practicing in a rural area. And so it's very hard on them psychologically. You'd like to be able to see somebody, make an evaluation, decide what they need, and get it done. That's what we're supposed to do. And that is what they do. I didn't really you got know enough what? leash here? Yeah. But it's getting harder all the time. In Cochise County, Matthew Trotter, Cronkite News.